harrowing scene from a hen party that ended in tragedy. On the M62 last year, a lorry collided with a coach taking 20 women to the celebration in Liverpool. The accident killed 18-year-old Bethany Jones, who was a trainee nurse, and left many others with life-changing injuries. Today, 65-year-old James Johnson was sentenced to six years and eight months in prison for causing death by dangerous driving. He was banned from driving for 10 years. James Johnson was employed on that day as a professional driver to take a group of ladies to Liverpool for what should have been a happy and enjoyable weekend. He failed in his duty that day. I am pleased the court process has come to an end today with the sentencing of James Johnson for his part in a truly appalling incident. Despite frantic warnings from his passengers of a strong burning smell, James Johnson failed to take two opportunities to leave the motorway, even when the coach slowed to less than five miles an hour, effectively leaving them sitting ducks. While other vehicles swerved to avoid them, the driver of one lorry, Kevin Ollerhead's vision was obscured and he ploughed into the coach. He was earlier cleared of all charges. Friends in court wept as personal statements from Bethany's family were read. Her father said, it's the last thing I think about at night and the first thing in the morning. My life will never be the same again. On that day, all those ladies got into the James Johnson minibus for what was to be the start of a fun packed weekend. Nobody could have imagined the devastation that lay ahead. The lives of so many of us have been changed forever, more due to the lack of actions resulting in the collision. The loss of Beth is deeply felt by not only a loving family, Paul, Diane, Amy and Ryan, but to those who knew her and loved her. Hundreds of people lined the streets in Bethany's hometown for her funeral last year. James Johnson's sentencing today will be small comfort to her family as they continue life without her. Catherine Jacob, Five News, Leeds Crown Court.